God. This here is a question for Paul Washer of Heart Crime Ministries. Uh, this question is this for John Piper, John Piper of Desiring God. This question is for Howard Storm, who wrote the book My Descent into Death. This question is for Don Piper, who wrote the book 90 Minutes in Heaven. This question is for anybody who knows Jesus Christ. Many of you have said, if you, many of you have said, if you take just one small step towards God, He'll take, He'll take one giant leap towards you. And I curse God if I cannot speak without this speech impediment. Let me be judged for it in the afterlife. Just let me have my free speech back, full speech back, be able to rap and sing too. Yeah, how storm says. If you want to know if Jesus is real, just ask him. He'll tell you. Dr. George D. Reggie said, has stories about people who asked God, Jesus, if he was really real. And Jesus, right there, answered them. If, Jesus, if this is really Jesus answering them, and not the law of chance and average in psychology, why the hell this story right here? And it's like, God is not the God of confusion, right? And I was really confused, and I remember going into it, like not like not expecting to come out uh, as like an atheist, uh, but genuinely like I remember there were a few days I just was like literally in tears on my knees, like God, I am getting close to going out the door. I need you. Wait, literally God, tears on my knees, like God. God damn it. Like, I remember there were a few days I just was like literally in tears on my knees like, God, I am getting close to going out the door. I need you to show up. I really need your help because this is terrifying. And if anything, it the opposite happened. Um, so it was, I didn't, like, I didn't want to deconvert. I didn't want to not be a Christian. I wanted to learn more. I was kind of chasing, like. Why did Jesus throw him to the wolves? Why did Jesus not answer him? If Jesus is real.